Winnipeg. It is very nice to be back here for the rest and relaxation show. Two things that I am neither of. I am very high strung. I don't know why I'm here. I don't have a job and I drink a lot of coffee. I don't know why I do that. I wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning and I drink three cups of coffee and I go, well, I gotta be on stage in 11 hours. Good thing I'm amped. Good thing I'm jacked up by myself in this bachelor suite. Spending all day scared, trying to figure out what to do. I still try to save time during the day. I still cook almost exclusively with a microwave. I don't know why, I've got time. I could use an oven, but I don't. I'm amazed that we even still use microwaves because they're not even good at the one thing they're supposed to do. Like we just accept it because they've been around for so long, but if you invented a microwave today, you wouldn't be able to sell that to anybody. Hey, okay, I invented this thing, you should try it. What does it do? It cooks food really fast. Does it do it properly? No. Not even close. Everything that comes out of this is either still frozen or exploded. Those are the only two options. Occasionally it'll be both of those at the same time. I don't even know how that's possible. Well, does it have any other interesting features? Yeah, sometimes it'll make the bowl really hot without heating the food in the bowl. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out better ways to relax. People told me to play video games, which I can't do because I'm not good at them and they just make me angry. And also, I don't want to be that adult man that has to justify time spent playing video games to other adults, right? Everybody knows that one guy who's like, no, they're good for your hand-eye coordination. <laughs> There's been studies. Like, you're 30. Your hand-eye's probably fine. I don't think you're waking up in the morning trying to pick up a spoon like, whoops, whoa! <laughs> I can't get it! My hand and my eye aren't coordinated. Better lock myself inside and play Call of Duty all weekend. <laughs> so I waste time like most people. I sit on the internet and I read and I learn nothing. <laughs> You're supposed to learn. That was the point of the internet. But what have we arrived at? Lists upon lists of things you don't need to know. <laughs> or relationship advice. Those are so common, right? Huge lists, 21 ways to fix your marriage. But then you look at the author of these articles, they're never written by a professional, right? It's usually just some passive aggressive guy who's mad at his wife. The article should actually be called 21 Ways to Fix Your Marriage, Karen! <laughs> Hope this finds you. But I don't waste time exclusively online. I also binge watch television shows, right? Because that's how you have to watch TV now. Yeah. You can't just watch one episode of a TV show anymore. That's the way it used to be. People walk up to you and be like, hey, did you see that show last night? You'd be like, no. And they'd be like, that's too bad. And then you'd talk about something else. <laughs> now people come up to you and they're like, hey, have you seen the entire series of The Walking Dead? And you're like, no. And they're like, we have nothing further to discuss. <laughs> you have 67 hours of homework to continue this conversation. <laughs> Get on it. I did watch all five seasons of The Walking Dead in a very short amount of time. If you've never seen that show, it is a show about how in the future, chain link fences aren't gonna work. <laughs> the whole show is like a smear campaign on chain link. <laughs> I don't know, maybe one of the writers used to be a fence guy and then he got laid off. <laughs> and I'll show them, they suck in my thing. <laughs> it also has uh, zombies in it. And I have to tell you, Winnipeg, I am not on board with zombies being scary. They try so hard if they bite you, it's bad news. Yeah, well, stop getting bitten, you idiots. <laughs> Everyone in that show is running around in a low-cut shirt. Zombies have human teeth. Put on a leather jacket. <laughs> human teeth are not that good. I have human teeth, and I've had sandwiches I can't bite through because they were too toasted. There's a zombie apocalypse. Just go find a motorcycle store, buy the entire outfit. Congratulations, you're Terminator. 
Just have a nap in the street. Zombies will be gnawing on you all night. Like, ah, you just wake up. Like, nah, get out of here, you rap scallion. I'm not gonna chew through this. Go bite that sexy guy with his shirt off trying to fix that fence. <laughs> Winnipeg, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much.